I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the out-of-hospital DNR. And DNR stands for Do Not Resuscitate. Now, an out-of-hospital Do Not Resuscitate order is a little different from a directive to physicians. A directive to physicians is you telling the doctor you don't want to be kept alive on artificial life support if you're in a terminal condition where the life support is keeping you alive. And the directive to physicians can be tailored to you, customized, and very specific about what you do and do not want concerning things like feeding tubes or uh, artificial respirator or defibrillator, those kind of things. You can specify that you do want certain things and you don't want certain things that might keep you alive. However, an out-of-hospital out DNR is a one-page form and they are often really pushed on people who are going into hospice care, for example. Now, I have had people come into my office and they're quite distressed because their loved one had a directive to physicians and yet they experienced the EMS coming to the person's house and giving them CPR and breaking ribs and it being very brutal and, and painful and even though they knew that that person was going to die, they resuscitated them, put them in an ambulance, took them to the hospital and they died a day later and the whole thing just felt very unnecessary and an out-of-hospital DNR would have prevented that situation. But I think that too often people are pushed to sign this document without really understanding what it means. And before you sign a document that could actually end your life, you need to think about it and, and think about if that's really what you want to do. I don't think that it fits everybody. Just because a person's old doesn't mean they're ready to give up on life. And just because a person has some um, ailments doesn't mean that they're ready to give up on life. You know, there are people who are very much in pain, they're, you know, they don't have long to live, they've got cancer, they're miserable, and they're ready to go. But there's other people who are not miserable. They're old, they're achy, but they're not ready to go. And so it's not a one-size-fits-all document. And so I urge that instead of pushing it on people, because people tend to trust their healthcare workers and they tend to sign things without really understanding them you know just you know how often are you put a contract and you don't read the contract you don't understand the contract you just assume that the person you're dealing with you trust them and you they tell you what the contract says and you just sign it well, when somebody puts a DNR in front of somebody and says, you know, this is, is just so that they won't resuscitate you and, and they sign it, they don't really realize the full impact of what they're signing. And I think that not everybody wants to sign that. I think that each person needs to make an individual choice based on their own preference and their own situation and it's not something that everybody wants to sign.